All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to show you guys how to um, split and move our files around the timeline. I'm doing this in particular for our um, joke project, but it can be used for the rest of our projects. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to open my file. So I'll go to File Open. I'm going to go to the libraries where I have it, and I know I just have to have them in this folder. You should have yours on the flash drive. I'm going to double click on the file to open. Um, I open the lab first. If you guys notice when I open the lab, I see the tracks. Um, I'm going to work with two files at once just so um, you guys can get some ideas, but I usually work with one file at a time. So I'm going to open. If you guys notice, it's saved um, where um, it usually adds. So I'm also pull up the intro. So if you guys notice it, um, when I open another one, it, it opened two files and that's not what I want so I'm not going to save changes this is the laugh when I want them both on the same one I'm going to import audio and we were looking for our intro now when I import the audio notice I have both tracks on at the same time if I happen to play them both oh that's live um, I end up hearing both of them at the same time so I just want to turn the volume down on it so I'm gonna use this to adjust the playback volume so when I listen to it it's actually not gonna adjust the volume of the song I'm listening to um, or if you notice like the wavelength is still the same it just makes it a little more manageable to hear So next thing I'm going to do is um, I want to hear just the laugh at one time. And if you guys notice, I have both tracks and I'm going to do this just so I can see both of them a little better. I have both. Hmm. That addressed all my playback volume. I didn't know that. Um, so I just want to isolate this one track at, at a time. So. I'm going to hit solo on this track. If I hit solo on this track, that means no matter how many other tracks I have, I'm just going to have this one track, which is really handy when you're working with multiple tracks. Or I could just mute that track. Now, mute only works for one track. So if you have five tracks, you mute one, you'll hear the other four. I like working with solo just because I know I only have that one track at a time. Um, if I only want this last clip, I just want that laugh so I'm going to highlight it and I have multiple ways to do it um, since I highlighted this one uh, I'm going to use the actually I'm gonna do it the other way because I showed you one way already I'm going to delete the rest of the stuff that I don't want so I'm gonna highlight everything else and just hit delete if you guys notice now everything else is gone um, this part right here is the laugh at the very end so I'm going to highlight that and move it to the end and Usually I like to have my tracks in order, so I'm going to drag this track up. So now um, I like to watch them in order. I'm going to unsolo it. Now I can hear everything at once. I'm going to go back to my italicized key. Alright, that sounded good. So um, I'm going to do it the other way now. So I want this. So what I want to do is, where are my tools at? Over here. So I want to, do I want to trim audio? Let's look. I click that button and I trim my audio. So now I have just this one selection of the audio. I'm going to go ahead and import my next part. File, import, audio. I'm going to uh, import the joke question. Okay, so now I have, if you guys notice, I have all three files at once. I'm going to shorten this one so I don't need them that big. I like to look at as much as I can while I can. So I'm going to use my slide tool and I'm going to adjust it. And let's just say I want this to go into this. And just like I said earlier, I like to have everything in order. So I'm going to drag that over there. Now let's listen to what we got. 
I say, I say, I say, what do you call a wolf that chops wood? Come here, boy. What do you call? All right, so I'm going to use the technique we used the first time. I'm going to highlight what I don't want. I'm going to delete. Now, these aren't exact times. You're going to have to work on the exact times yourself. But now if we listen to it, I'm just going to listen to the end of one and the beginning of the next and see if it works. I say, I say, I say, what do you call a wolf that chops wood? And of course, it doesn't work. So I'm going to fade this out a little bit. Now, to do that, I'm going to select the area I want to fade. I'm going to go Effect. Fade out. And it fades out that one part. I'm going to use Control Plus to zoom in. Oh, I forgot. I'm going to just use the regular zoom in tool. And I'm going to slide this over so I can see the them overlap a little bit. Let's listen to it. I say, I say, I say, what do you call a wolf that chop? Almost right. That looks about right. I say, I say, I say, what do you call a wolf that chop? All right, so I want to get everything together. The next thing I would do is I would import the next track, and I'd use the exact same steps to line everything else up. That would give me uh, my joke. Once I'm finished, I'm going to go File, and you can watch the video on it. But I'm going to export the audio. Um, you probably want to save, but when you're ready to turn in, you're going to export audio. Export it as the final and use the naming convention I gave you and hit save and it's gonna save on your flash drive alright ladies and gentlemen thank you very much that has been our video on how to trim audio and move clips on the timeline